Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Problem is longest substring without repeating characters. So it's a very easy problem. Given a string S, find the length of the longest substring with without repeating characters. For example, let's see this test case. See. This string is given to us and we need to find out the longest substring. L substring we all know, right? What is substring? Uh, co contiguous string, right? So this ABC is a substring. This ABCBB is a substring, right? This whole is a substring. So we need to find the substring and that to the longest without repeating characters. For example, I cannot take this substring. Why I cannot take this? Because A is repeating. A is coming two times. We cannot have repeating characters. Okay, so I can take ABC. ABC I can take. It has no repeating characters. So this is one of the substring without repeating characters. And it has length 3. That 3 characters. I can take this ABC also. But can I take this? No, na. I cannot take this because B is repeating 3 times. Alright, I cannot take this substring. Sorry, I can take this one because it's CAB. Each character is occurring one time. But I cannot take this because C is repeating. So the maximum sub uh, longest substring, right, in this case, which has no repeating characters is ABC. This ABC or you can take this ABC or CAB. Alright, so the maximum length, the length is 3. ABC. Okay. So I hope you understood this problem. Now uh, let's see how we can approach it. See guys. Whenever we have to. Uh, whenever See in the question only you will get hints what you can do. I'll, I'll give you some hints. Try to approach the problem. So see. First of all we need to find out substring. So we need to find out substring. So whenever substring is given right. You can think of few approaches like you can think of two pointer right you can think of using sliding window sliding window right and uh, yeah you can think of using a hash map right so some see these are some cases you can think in your mind right also then what you need to do you need to find the longest so second point is longest Longest means that you need to find out the maximum length, right? Maximum length. So here you need to find out maximum length substring. Maximum length substring. And also uh, without repeating characters. So the string should be not having any repeating characters. Without repeating characters. So see guys. First of all, in this problem, can we have a benefit of doing sorting? Because see, two pointer is mostly used when we can do sorting. Over here, there will be no benefit of doing sorting because position of these characters will change if we do sorting. Okay. So if we do sorting, position will change and we need to find substring, right? So we cannot change the position of characters. All right. So sorting here has no benefit. Benefit. So two pointer is, we cannot think of using two pointer here will it will be no uh, benefit to us second what we can think of is using a sliding window so see let's see if this problem falls into sliding window category or not so see what we need to do in this problem we need to find out the max length that is the max length or what you can say it max window so what is a window window is what window is a substring only right if you think it window means what a substring or right substring so here we need to find out a substring and that too of maximum length and there is a condition so every time we have a condition so here condition is that it should not have repeating characters so all of these three conditions are pointing to the sliding window approach so here we will use sliding window we have to find a window that window should be of maximum length and it should not have any repeating characters all right so I hope you understood how to identify what we can think of using in a problem. Now let's see how we can approach it. Uh, how uh, we can think of the approach. So see here. 
what I'm doing is I know that okay I'll be using sliding window sliding window I'll be using now in sliding window we have a window right we have a window so for for uh, specifying the window or for uh, representing the window maintaining the window you can say for maintaining the window we take two variables i variable and j variable i variable is the start of the window and j variable is the end of the window so basically i is the index starting index j is the ending index of the window so initially initially i will take both my starting and ending index of the window to be at the starting index so let me do indexing 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 initially both i and j will be at the starting of the uh this starting of the win, uh, string right at the zero index now as we all know how sliding window works right we will shift our ending index and we will maintain a window okay now here the condition is that the window window has to have a condition what is the condition every time condition will be given in the problem so condition is it should not have repeating characters window and condition is no repeating characters right no repeating characters so guys now one question is we will maintain a window but how we will keep a track that it has the window has no repeating characters just think about it how you can keep a track that there is no repeating character in the window for example let let me tell you let me say like this is our window right let's suppose i is here j is here so how will you check whether there is a repeating character or not like a is repeating in this window right a is coming two times how you will check so yeah i think you are correct uh, thinking correctly either you can use a hash map to store the count of each character count you can take a hash map and you can store the count of each character otherwise what you can do you can take a character array you can take a character array character vector or character array so character array you will be storing the count of each character so i will be using character array here you can use a hash map also uh, doesn't matter so what i will do right i will be taking a array so alphabets uh, i'll take the size of that character array to be 20, 256 right you can take uh, 26 or it the logic depends on you so uh, the how do you are storing want to store the count but i'll be taking an array uh, vector of size 256 so let's say here we have this uh, so in this string i have abc only so i'll be take i'll be just storing the count of these only so i'll be making that much only 0 1 2 3 so something like this will be the cor uh, character array here a will be stored a count here b count will be stored and here c count will be stored basically we will be storing a minus the sky value of that so if it's let's say it, it's uh, sky value is 97 so we will be subtracting 97 and it will come at zero index so here a is count will be stored okay so see guys now what we will do we will see okay first step is whenever uh, we will we'll have we will go to each character right we'll go to each uh, character in our string first step will be whatever is at j index right end index we will increment its count because we are taking that in our window right so i'll be taking this in my window so let's say this is uh, let me name this as count array so first step I, i'll do is count of this character right this character so let me take this string as s so s of j right whatever is present on s of j a is present so i will increase its count by 1 because it has occurred once in our window so here one will come this is the count of this a character in the window so window is currently this much okay then what i will do i will check whether this count has become greater than one because in our window correct the, a specific character can come only once right so i will check here i will check so i am writing here we i will check whether s of j uh, whether count of s of j count of s of j is greater than 
if it is greater than one, I will remove that character, right? Because we cannot have duplicate characters, right? So I will check, and then I will remove. So we will see how we can do that. But like for now, I am just writing check if it is greater than one. So here one, it's not greater than one, right? It's one only, so it's fine. And if it is greater than one, then we will check and remove that character. Remove character. Okay. After that, so I will have an answer variable in which I will be storing the maximum length of the sub uh, this substring, right? So right now answer will be zero, and every time we will be updating our answer, like updating our uh, length of the substring. So answer will be equal to max of answer and j minus i plus one. Why j minus i? Because we need to find the length, right? So window. If this is the end index of the window and this is the starting index, what will be the length? J minus. Why we are doing plus one? Because these are indexes, right? These are indexes. So plus one to getting the length for getting the length. So here answer will become what? J minus i plus one. What is j? J is zero. What is i? I is also zero. Plus one. So length of the window right now is one so i will increment answer to one okay now let's proceed further after this we will increment j we will increment j so j will come to now j will come to one index so first step is what count of j character increment so b's count will increment right now all are zero so i will increment b's count and will make it one that is b has occurred one time after that i will check whether count of b is greater than one no it's one only so nothing need to be done and I, and then we'll be calculating our answer so answer will be j is one minus i plus one so this will become two so we will increment it to two okay so now let's move forward now what we will do j will again increment so j plus plus j will now come to two index here okay so now uh, let me remove this so now let's uh, calculate uh, count of j character we will increment so j is 6 c c is, is 2 so we will increment Uh, sorry, C uh, count we will increment so C count will become one. Okay. Now we will check whether that count is become greater than one. No, it's one only, so it's fine. And then we will increment our answer. So answer will become what is J? J is at two index. Two minus I is at zero index plus one, so it will become three. So here, answer we will increment. Max of answer which is two comma three so max is three so we will increment three. Update to three. After that now let's move forward so J will again go here now see now see carefully guys. J is here now. Okay. So whatever is at J we will increment its count so A's count will become plus plus so one plus one it will become two. So here two will come. Now S of J, S of J is what A. A's count is become greater than one, so A's count is two, and it's greater than one. Meaning, this is our window, right? Starting index is I, and ending index is J. So in this window, this A is occurring more than once, right? That's why its count is greater than one. So it's coming, it's occurring greater than uh, one, right? So how we will remove it now? See, we have to remove this A because this A is Occurring two times, right? We have to make it one time only. This A can only occur one time in a window, one time in window. So how we will do it? We will have a while loop. We will continue removing the character until this count of S of J is again until it, until it's greater than one, right? Until it's greater than one, we will re, we will shorten our window. right we will shorten our window so see how we'll do it we will see we will see if like until this 
काउंट ऑफ ए इज ग्रेटर देन वन वी विल कीप ऑन शिफ्टिंग आर विंडो राइट वी विल कीप ऑन शिफ्ट शॉर्टनिंग आर विंडो बिकॉज वी डोंट वॉन्ट दिस ए टू बी अकरिंग टू टाइम्स इन द विंडो सो वट आई विल डू आई विल चेक वट आई विल डू आई विल जस्ट रिमूव वट एवर इज इन दिस एस ऑफ आई सो एस वॉट वी विल डू वी विल राइट काउंट ऑफ एस ऑफ आई वट एवर इज एट आई जस्ट डिक्रीमेंट इट्स काउंट बिकॉज वी विल रिमूव इट आर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम आर विंडो राइट एंड देन मूव आई प्लस प्लस जस्ट रिमूव मूव आई सो एट आई वॉट इज प्रेजेंट ए इज प्रेजेंट ए वी विल रिमूव फ्रॉम आर विंडो सो दैट्स वाई वी आर डिक्रीजिंग इट्स काउंट बाई वन सो काउंट ए ऑफ काउंट विल बिकम वन and then we will shift our i so we are shortening our window so our window will now be till here now see guys again we will go in the while loop we will check the condition s of j a is count is greater than 1 no now a is count is 1 only so this is fine this window is fine so now we will calculate answer again this is how we are checking and removing the character and we are only keeping that character one time then answer will become max answer uh, and we will find out the answer so answer will again come out to be 3 because length is 3 right so similarly guys you can complete the dry run right now again j will increment so j will come here again we will increment b's count it will become 1 plus 1 2 now again 2 is 2 uh, is so b is occurring in this window see in this window b is occurring two times so we will remove b we will shift i and we will decrement the count of b so b will now become one again so our window is now from this i this c to this b so this is of length 3 so answer will update will not update because it's already 3 similarly you can again you will increment j so c will now become c is count will now become 2 c is occurring two times again you will shift this i and i will come here and c will be c count will become 1 so it's fine now okay and this is our window abc so its length is again 3 so you can it is 3 similarly you can complete this j will come till here and you will get the answer value to be maximum 3 so this will be your answer output that is the maximum the longest substring which has no repeating character is of length 3 so i hope you understood this approach and the dry run now let's see the code once try to write code by yourself using uh, uh, by uh, looking uh, on these steps so see after uh, after understanding code right i will highly recommend dry run once so this is the count array i have taken initially all the values will be zero l is uh, so here i have taken l and r l is your i that is starting index this is starting index of window and r is your j that is ending index of window then answer will store the length of longest substring no repeating correct having no repeating repeating character okay so until r is less than s long so we will continue our uh, loop until j reaches at the last index first of all we will increment whatever is at j its count will increment then we will check if it it been greater than 1 so basically we are doing these steps this while loop here after that we will calculate answer and we will increment r value okay and at last we'll return answer so i hope you understood the problem and the approach uh, time complexity for this is o of n because we are traversing this string once right and space is constant only because we have taken this constant array so you can take it as constant or you can say it's 256 or something so basically it's constant only so i hope you found the video helpful if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you